Hey, it's Marita with another episode of Book Bites. And today I'm going to share with you uh, this little treasure on Helen Keller. I, as a child, I loved, I mean, I devoured everything I could on all the different books about her. And then later, Annie Sullivan, um, I read everything. I could get my hands on about her. I found her life to be fascinating. So when I was at the library the other day and I saw this um, being featured, I just grabbed it. And I have to say it's relatively new. It was published just, um, uh, where'd it go? 2022. So it's relatively new, but it's um, a whole series, Little People, Big Dreams, and it says here, discover the lives of outstanding people from designers and artists to scientists. All of them achieved incredible things, yet each began life as a child with a dream. Little Helen was eager to learn about the world, but after falling ill during childhood, she became deaf and blind. When Anne Sullivan, a teacher, came into her life, Helen learned how to communicate in different ways. She became the first deaf blind person to earn a college degree isn't that cool? And toured the world advocating for the rights of the disabled. This amazing story of the campaigner features a, a fact and photo section in the back. So I can't speak for certain, but I think that this is an entire series of really cool people. In the back, uh, it says collect the entire series and there's all kinds of people like uh let's see Jane Austen, Georgia O'Keeffe, Harriet Tubman, Stephen Hawking, um Mary, I don't know who she is, Mary Shelley, Bruce Lee, Dolly Parton, Pele, he just died recently, Steve Jobs, um Stevie Wonder, Gloria Steinem, Amanda Gorman, that's really interesting. Very new. Um, Nikola Tesla. I mean, so you can you you can read this beautifully um, illustrated, very simple story to your child, and it's like history, right? It's history. It's um, autobiographical. So the art, I found the art to be very nice. Of course, the read is very simple. But what I liked, of course, that it's it's actually, um, it's true. It's inspiring for your child to, uh, and and then with with Helen, at any rate, you can you can bring the element of um, being respectful for, having compassionate for people who are deaf and blind disabled, so that it's not unusual. It, it opens the door to the conversation. So I hope that you'll kind of consider um, picking this up at the library or at your local store or somebody else that's featured on that whole long list of, of uh, individuals that they've made a book about. Until next time, bye-bye.